Good day. Good day, can you hear me? Well, I hope that your ears are working better than your tongue, so that you might use them to listen to my words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning and middle of the tunnel, but some things remain shrouded in darkness. My emergency message I hope has helped, but what it is now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Well, go now, there is no time to explain. Well, in fact, time is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. Well, surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. My memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall begin to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day be together. For this task, we shall require the use of a large, earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. By the way, you can call me Red. It's not my name, you understand, but, but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my exceedingly cunning ways. As far as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy, freshly rolled in its own feces. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek.
find yourself in the watery cave of conversation space, with a tunnel above you from times ahead. In this tunnel, for both our sakes, be careful, not curious. I have already spoken to you about the cat, and repeating myself is not only out of the question, but out of the window and climbing down the guttering. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the human fluids, so do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the China ladies in the rooms of the war. some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you! <laughs> <laughs> the spidery tunnel power the necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time. But poetic justice has struck with a sonnet and an eight-legged baptism of fire. With justice now served cold, I hope that we can be good friends. Now reclaim the key and go-go juice. And find a way to the mining monster. <laughs> <laughs> 